What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and uh, it seems like some interesting back and forth is going on between Elon Musk and Twitter. Some last-second negotiations to actually get the deal done. Not exactly what I had hoped to see today. In fact, there is some reporting around Musk is hoping that the credit markets are too broken to fund the deal. Um, some last-minute... Uh, like weird requests that he knows probably aren't going to get fulfilled. New York Times reporting that Elon Musk and Twitter are at odds over the terms of the agreement to finally close the deal. <sighs> Can we just get the deal done? I was hoping we'd have Elon uh, cleaning house at Twitter by Friday, but it looks like we're going to have to wait a little bit longer. Elon Musk and Twitter at odds over terms of agreement to close deal. By the way, uh, everyone, thanks for supporting Delicious Coffee brand coffee using promo code The Quartering. We've got three seasonal blends right now, Pumpkin Spice, Spike Jack Lantern, and our brand new Salted Caramel, all selling off. I'd pick up all three if, it were, if I were you. Also, our regular light, medium, and dark roasts, our double caffeinated, our cold brew bags. We have cake cups. We have a half a dozen teas. We've got, we've got everything. And I absolutely love and thank you for all the support that you've given. Elon Musk continues to stay off Twitter, uh, continues to seek stay of Twitter litigation as deals talks continue. He requested a judge to stay his litigation with Twitter pending the receipt of the financing for the $44 billion deal, which he said expected to close at $54.20 a share around October 28th, according to a court filing. As a result, there is no need to, uh, for an expedited trial to order defendants to do what they are already doing in this action is now moot, said the filing. A five-day trial was scheduled for October 17th, and Musk was scheduled to be proposed, I'm sorry, deposed on Thursday, although the parties mutually agreed to postpone his interview, sources told Reuters. A five-day, or Musk said lawyers representing the debt financing parties have reassured him that they are all prepared to honor their obligations, according to the filing. Preceding the trial could drag out payment to Twitter's shareholders by months. Twitter will not take yes for an answer. Astonishingly, they've insisted on proceeding with this litigation, recklessly putting the deal at risk and gambling with the stockholders' interests, the filing said. After spending months in a high-stakes court battle to get out of his April agreement to buy the company we know that, Musk reversed course on Monday. Representatives of Elon Musk are still grappling with the terms of the agreement that would enable his purchase of the social media company to proceed. The discussions are that the latest of the two sides have held a courtroom clash draws near. They quietly held unsuccessful talks about a possible cut of the price to 44 billion, the price of 44 billion for the social media platform. Mr. Musk reverse course Monday. Now, as of late Wednesday, representatives for Mr. Musk said and Twitter were trying to hash out the details of the proposal this week to stick to the original agreement. The people familiar with the matter said sticking points include what would be required from both sides for litigation over the stalled deal to be dropped. First of all, they have to get that off the docket, right? You've got to drop the court deal before you can then proceed on completing the actual sale of Twitter. I'm assuming that you know Elon just def definitely did not want to get deposed. Um, and then would be contingent on Mr. Musk receiving the necessary debt financing, some of the people said. There was initially hope the deal could be reached Thursday or even Wednesday, averting the trial, which is scheduled for October 17th. The people said the two sides have agreed to delay his deposition, which was scheduled to begin Thursday, today, in Texas, and continue efforts to reach the agreement on how to move forward. The informal discussions about a cut in the $44 billion purchase price happened in a series of conference calls in recent weeks between lawyers and ended after the two sides failed to agree on the terms of a potential deal. So he was, it looks like he maybe was always interested in purchasing Twitter, but now he was also interested in getting a spicy discount. The price cut talks had broken off before Mr. Musk caught Twitter off guard by sending its lawyer two sentences a two-sentence letter proposing to move forward on the original terms. Interestingly enough, you have this Elon Musk and Twitter are hours away from a deal, but judge says the trial will remain on the docket 
after the company rejected Tesla's CEO plea to cut his buyout price by up to 30%. I mean, that's a pretty spicy request in the 11th hour. 30%, what, at $54.20, that'd be like $15 per share. I don't think, I can't imagine you could go back to the shareholders and say, uh, well, we were going to give you a 54.20, but now we're going to give you, I don't know, $37 or something like that. I'm not sure that you could even do that because that's not what they voted on. But I guess Twitter has, so meanwhile, the New York Times reported in recent weeks, Musk's pri Musk privately pleaded with Twitter to reduce the deal price by as much as 30%, valuing the company at $31 billion. Twitter refused a proposal as well as another cut to the price tag by 10% before Musk acquiesced and renewed his original agreed offer, according to the report citing four people familiar with the matter. Well, I don't think he was in a great negotiating position. Lots of negotiating is simply about leverage. And quite frankly, he didn't have it. By the way, uh, I have a live stream that I do with Sidney Watson uh, every day at a little after five, I'm sorry, every Thursday at a little after five o'clock. Uh, I hope that you'll join. Uh, by the time this video goes live, we might be in the middle of it um, or it might go live after, but I'm gonna leave a link to the podcast anyway so you can watch it later. Um, otherwise, maybe we'll still be going, you can pop in. There's naturally massive distrust between Musk and Twitter. By the way, we'll be talking about Elon tonight in the live stream as well. Um, given his nightmare soap opera since April, wrote Wedbush. On Wednesday, the judge said in the case that neither side had requested a delay, adding that she was preparing for the looming trial. I'm assuming that, you know, Elon did not want this trial to happen. He's not interested in, um, you know, being deposed and having all sorts of his personal text messages out end up in public record. I mean, that may have been worth the extra, whatever it is, $50 billion dollars that uh, they ended up requesting. It's, it's difficult to know for sure. I mean, Elon certainly has been active still on Twitter, roasting um, Chinese, pe Chinese consulate people. Um, he hasn't really said much, you know, about, uh, you know, the, the deal other than announcing that, you know, 52 more Starlink satellites confirmed. Every time they launch more satellites, I get like 10 more megabits of speed. Maybe I'll be able to stream that next podcast in 1080p, you know, other than back on October 4th, talking about using Twitter to push forward his X, his X app. You see, you know, Musk offered now pending receipt of financing proceeds. So we're back to where we started in April, less some a hundred million in legal fees. That's a lot of dimp. Um, and you can see contingent debt financing, which is now 4% interest instead of close to zero back in April. I don't think really uh, he cares that much about interest rate here. Although it'd be interesting to see if this, you know, the debt contingency, if he's really just like fifth dimensional chessing here and trying to get out of the deal by, uh, you know, saying the financing can no longer be secured. I, I'm not 100% sure. I mean, the fact that Twitter opposes his motion to delay the trial, I think it's the same play I would make. You know, it's like, oh, is he just trying to buy more time? Is he trying to, you know, oh, we got to start the trial up again. And now it's going to have to happen in November instead of October, buying more time, you know, uh, which is interesting. But I understand why they're saying, you know, I understand exactly why they're, you know, they're doing it. And this is on top of, you know, Elon's text suggest he'd soon make drastic changes to Twitter. I don't know what soon even means anymore these days, to be honest with you, because I mean, I don't know how long it takes to move around, you know, $50 billion. I mean, if you're the US government, you can just send it overseas anytime you want. But I mean, for private citizens, I don't know. I tried to take a few thousand dollars out of the bank to pay some contractors, and they told me I had to go to three different locations to get it. Um, so it's interesting. Um, you know, if, if he were to complete the deal and he were to kind of eradicate the bots and um, remove any like fingers on the scales, it would be interesting to kind of see how maybe that changes the experience on Twitter. I know that I've decided that, you know, I, I have to push forward on my own with a platform that you know, I can reach my viewers at any time. And in fact, if you saw earlier today, 
And if you saw earlier today, I launched my, um, my locals page, the quartering.locals.com. It's absolutely free to follow there. Um, we'll also, we'll also have kind of, um, members only content there, but if you haven't yet, please do follow me there. This will be my primary way, like my ultra primary way of interacting with everyone. So, you know, Twitter, I would expect fewer responses directly from me there. Certainly Facebook and all these other places. Locals is where I'm going to be. And um, it's going to be awesome to be able to talk directly with you. A lot of times the comment section gets too hard to thread here on YouTube. So if you join my locals, obviously um, I'll have a better chance of seeing your messages and you can interact with everyone else. Plus, plus we can do all sorts of locals only live streams and stuff like that. So um, yeah, the quartering.locals.com. Uh, make sure you open a new tab and you sign up for that uh, before the end of the day because we're going to do something fun on there tomorrow, I think already. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, uh, I will follow the Elon Musk Twitter saga uh, as closely as I can. So you want to click that red subscribe button down below to keep all the latest information. We'll talk to you again real soon.